Okay, we will be looking through how to do questions that have assigned on the SLS platform for 8th of April. So these are the questions that are given. Okay, just to recall, we have part 1, which is MCQ questions 3, 4, 6. Okay, these are all in page 93 to 94. Section B, we have question 1, page 95. Alright, so let's look at question 3 first. Okay, this is the question that is being given. Okay, the reaction of methanol with oxygen is represented by the equation below. So what we do is, I can rewrite this equation out so that it's clear. Okay, I will leave out the state symbols here because it's not required. So instead of A, B and C, I'll just leave blends first. Okay, and then I will write in 4 that is given. Alright, so if we count the number of atoms for the questions, okay, we have over here, this is what we call the reactants. Then over this side, these are what we call the products. So we must make sure for each element, this left hand side and right hand side must be balanced. Okay, so what we do here, 4 hydrogen times 2, total of 8 hydrogen. So we check the other side, the only part where there's hydrogen is here. So total there is 4 hydrogen, 3 plus 1. Okay, hydrogen. So if you count, it is not balanced now, 4 and 8. So what we do is we can change the coefficient here to 2. When I do so, the number of hydrogen becomes, okay, just to avoid confusion, it's just hydrogen, 4 times 2, total of 8. Then this balance already. Now, oxygen is also given here as 4 oxygen, right? Okay, so I'll use another color for this first, right? But you can see that there's oxygen in every of this molecule. If you're going to balance oxygen first, it's going to be very messy. So what we do here instead is we try to balance the other element, which is carbon. Okay, so just look through again. There is total three elements here. Okay, what are the three elements? They are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay, wow, well, big. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But carbon is not balanced yet. Hydrogen is. So let's look at carbon. So carbon here, I have 2 times 1. Total 2 carbon here. Okay, so carbon has 2. Okay, on this side of the equation, there is no longer any carbon. So I'll move on to the product side and count the number of carbon. Total, there is 1. If I don't add any coefficient here, it's 1. So 2 and 1, these 2 are not the same number. So because it's not the same number, we have to change this to the same. If I multiply by a 2, I have to change the coefficient to 2. So just to make sure and check again, there's 2 carbon here and 2 carbon here. Carbon is being balanced. Okay, moving forward, we have the last element to balance here, which is oxygen. Uh, let me try to get another color so that you can see very clearly. Oxygen is 4 on this side. Hold on, this is 2 times 2, total 4. So for the number of oxygen atoms, I have 4 plus 4 of total of 8 atoms of oxygen. Okay, so if you look through, on this side, there is only one element oxygen here in this molecule, so 2 times of 1. Okay, there's no number behind at the subscript, so it's 2. So total of 2 plus, let's assume 1 first, so this is 1 times 2, total of 2. Now 4 and 8 is not balanced of course, so we have to change the number either here or here to make oxygen balance. However, you can see here that this uh, oxygen is not only, if you change the number, not only this oxygen get changed, you also have to change carbon and hydrogen and everything you need to try again and balance. So we try not to touch this molecule coefficient anymore.
coefficient is the number that we put in front. So instead, I want to try to target this because there's only one element here, okay, which is oxygen. So it's easy to balance this. Uh, as in, it's easy to change the number without affecting other elements. So total, I need 8. Now I have 4. I can't change this number. So I have to change this to a 6, right? 2 plus 6. So to make it 6, instead I have to times 3. Okay, let's just put a bracket so no confusion here. 2 times 3 to be a 6. Then this number will be changed to 8. Then it's balanced. Okay, don't forget to go back to the coefficient and change this. Okay, so 2, 3, 2. So question 3, answer is D. Okay, let me just write the answers all. Okay, very clearly. So you update it inside your worksheet. MCQ question 3, answer is D. Okay, so the next question I'm going to go through is question 4. Okay, so again we have a question that is being given in formula uh, or given to you. So you do not need to write the chemical formula. Just let me copy out this. We blends instead of all the symbols. This round no, none of the number is given. Okay, and this is probably going to be a little bit more difficult because of the brackets. So what the bracket means is there is, if you open up, there's two nitrogen and six oxygen. Okay. So again, we have these elements. Okay, just a checklist. Okay, right here, there's Fe. Okay. Uh, maybe there's no blend here. Never mind. Now I'm just going to put uh, this together first. Okay, because this is there's NO2 here and oxygen that is coming from this. Okay, so I treat this as a group first. Now if you look at the Fe, now it's balanced for the moment. Okay, however, if you look at the nitrogen. Uh, and the oxygen is not balanced because there's two nitrogen here and one here. Now you zoom in and see here. This two, whichever number you have here will be the number here. Well, why? Because there's only one molecule with N here, which on the left hand side we call the reactants, and there's only one nitrogen here on the right hand side. So if I have two set of this I will have two set of this also so that two nitrogen is consistent on both sides that is why I have kept it this way so that it's easier to balance okay now oxygen after you put in let's count the number of oxygen first total that's three times two so oxygen okay there's a total of six on this side, one. This side is two times two, four. And we have one times two, two. So for this, is more complicated because when you add up four plus two plus one, you have seven. And 6 and 7 is difficult to balance. It's not like you can multiply these times 2 and you can get numbers. So if you add this to times 2, it becomes 12. It's also, you have to change some numbers here. So that's a shortcut for doing this question. You can realize now that I can also do by this way. There's 6 here, 7. Let's try to make this 6 instead. Now, you see these three molecules, right? The only one that is not affected by another element when you change the number in front will be this one. Because whichever number I change is only going to affect oxygen. There's no Fe and those no N here that can be affected. 
okay and let's try to use a shortcut working with fractions now if I have to change this to a 1 if I'm able to change this to a 1 so 1 plus 4 plus 1 I can get 6 and this will make it balanced but how do I put a number here to make this instead of 2 to give me 1 we use fractions so to get 1 half times 2 okay or rather 2 times half give me 1 so temporarily the coefficient te temporarily you put as half first and this will make a balanced equation now however oxygen we know that they are diatomic okay that means two atoms join together if this covalent bond is broken right it's an oxygen atom okay but we do not have oxygen as atoms naturally they always exist as diatomic molecule so we don't have half a molecule so what we do here is we try to make this a whole number by multiplying two so you have to multiply two throughout okay, this is one eh? so the number will change for every single one but this will keep the ratio that you have balanced earlier with the half year so this will change to two this will change to two okay this will change to four this will change to one so if you look at the answer it will be two two four one two two four one which is answer b so question MCQ for the answer is B. Okay, we have the next question, question 6. Okay, on page 94, that's uh, be allocated to you. An element X was discovered to form outside of formula XO, which of following element can be element x b okay this is uh just on formula so if you look at question six oxygen if you look under oxygen in the periodic table it belongs to what group go and check your periodic table you will be able to find out that periodic table the oxygen is in group six please write six in roman numerals eh? so in group 6 okay all the group 6 element okay oxygen is configuration 2 6 right so in order to be octet it becomes 2 a which is a o2 minus charge right so oxygen has a charge of o2 minus so xo okay now there's no number here right so that means to say if i bring back up the charges okay this xo charges come back to be this we know oxygen is always negative now but it doesn't match right so it means that this number has been simplified from a two because if you recall when you have both the same number and you bring it down you remove the charges first because plus and minus means the uh, ionic uh, ions that attract to each other okay so you bring down is x2o2 right however you need to simplify these to xo okay so when you do this kind of question you bring back up the charges and numbers okay which happens to be just this first right and if it doesn't match right you change it to the one that matches then don't forget this one is also the same number okay so question six okay that will bring our answer to be uh two plus ion right so out of all these is three plus ion um magnesium will be uh, group 2 
Okay, in fact, iron has a charge of 2 plus or 3 plus, but you cannot be very sure. So, this uh, best answer will be magnesium. Okay, uh, iron can also have a charge of 2 plus. So, if uh, iron form with oxygen, it can also be iron oxide. Alright, but because best answer, magnesium, because iron can also form Fe. 3 plus charge ions okay that will be the mcq that is allocated to you okay uh, i also gave you um, all the structure questions uh, for balancing okay so now the time are uh, already 15 minutes uh, i will show you the answers working okay one by one so that you can understand how the working has uh, is done so for 1a i'm gonna copy out this first so question 1a section b okay this is on page number 95 okay c3h8 plus o2 gives co2 plus H2O this is similar to the MCQ question just now okay so for this kind of question we call a uh, combustion okay, you will learn later in secondary 4 syllabus so for combustion syllabus you always only have these three elements to to balance so this is the checklist my recommendation is to balance in this sequence Okay, spelling mistake, sorry. Alright, so in this sequence, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, let's balance carbon, 3. Okay, I will not do all the workings here, I'll just read through how I do the, the um, balancing. So there is 3 carbon, so 3, because 1 here, so 3 times 1 is balanced. After that, hydrogen, because hydrogen only affected by these two sides, right? So 8 hydrogen, 2 here, so I put a 4, so that makes 8. Then, after that, you count the oxygen. So total oxygen here is 2. But total oxygen here, okay, I separate the with this arrow one. Eh? 3 times 2, total 6. 4 times 1, total 4. Total, I need 10. Okay, this is easier than the previous MCQ question. 2 times 2 and 10, right? Okay, so you can times 5 here to get. So you can just need to add 5, 3, 4. Okay, don't need to write numbers for anything that's 1. Okay, uh, I would like to go back to the MCQ for a while. Now, just now, MCQ answer for question 3. Right? I've done by this method where you can work out the equation and all the coefficient first. However, there's another method you can try is for each of the, this option, you put the number A1 inside, 2 inside, and 3 inside. Okay, and you count the elements on the left hand side, cover out here, count all the carbon, count all the hydrogen, oxygen. Okay, and you can cover out here and count all. Okay, if it doesn't balance, means it's not balanced. So until you find the option that has both sides balanced, Okay, then you can take that. You can work by this way for MCQ. Okay, however, you still need to understand how to do the balancing. Okay, because uh, other than MCQ, you are uh, you are need required to write the equations on your own. Okay. okay then we have uh, ZN. Okay, the next one. Yeah, copy out the equations again 1b zns plus o2 okay zno plus sulfur dioxide okay again sulfur is affected on the zinc sulfide and the sulfur dioxide okay so these two are linked together the numbers 
if I change one year, I have to change here. Okay, so hold on first. You can see one thing for sure. This question we can do it another way. If I look at oxygen here, I have two here. Again, nothing here for oxygen and zinc oxide. I have one here and sulfur dioxide. This is called sulfur dioxide. Total two. If I add these two numbers, it's always uh, it's actually an odd number. Then this is an even number. No matter how I add numbers here, if I change it to two, it becomes four. Change to three, it becomes to six. Okay, no matter what number I change it to. Okay, this is not going to balance because this is odd number here, even number. So what I need to do here for a shortcut is I try to make here an even number first. So I make my life easier. So zinc oxide here is the one that costs a odd number because here if I put one, it's going to be odd number. Anything plus a one, you always get it odd number for I mean an even number plus a one uh, you always get odd number so I change this to an even number I can put a two that changed the oxygen to two already so you see this becomes four so now it's an even number okay so I remove the odd number on this side then this is easier to balance and change to four already so I need to change this to two Okay, then this become 4. Okay, now when I change the number here for zinc, right, do notice zinc outside, do notice that there is a change in the zinc also. So Zn just now was only 1 here, right? Okay, and now it's 2. So I have to change this number to 2. Okay, this makes uh, the coefficient to be 2, 2, 2 on the, both sides. Uh, but this is going to be a bit complicated if I do this way. I change this to 2, I affect sulfide. So sulfur now is 2, this got to change. So if I change here, okay, sulfur, two sulfur, two su sulfur, right? After I change it, okay, so it balance. However, I change the oxygen. So I go back to the oxygen and change this to four. This becomes six. All right, come back here. Four and six not balanced. So I change this to three. Okay, that's why I say um, oxygen is kind of only affected by itself and the numbers we can ch we ultimately we use and we do it last. Then you don't have to change it two times. You see, I go here and there, I only change the number once as I do the question. But oxygen, if you leave it to the last, it's going to be easier. Okay, so the balance equation is 2, 3, 2, 2. Okay, the rest... Okay, let me see. Now it is about 23 minutes runtime for the questions already. Okay, we still have the word equations. Uh, I'll try to see if I can make another video on it. So 1C, we have SOCL2. Okay, in the exam, please write the L in this cursive manner. Because I, L, all these can, it's very difficult to differentiate for chemistry. So uh, we can also leave plans for our balancing later. Okay, so you see this sulfur is being tagged here. Whatever number I change here will affect here directly. Okay, so sulfur, if I at the end, I just make sure this. If this one, this will be one. If this two, this have to be two, right? So sulfur now is balanced. I can ignore it for now. Okay. If I want to count the hydrogen, two here. 
okay so sulfur okay in order to not make life difficult for you to see the elements sulfur okay i have oxygen i have chlorine so i just write up all so you can see very clearly the numbers before we even balance huh? so i use this blue pen first to write the original numbers so one here one here nothing here nothing here for sulfur oxygen one here one here okay this means it's still plus huh? and okay this means equal huh? must be equal oxygen there's two and there's no oxygen here you see, so you see, oxygen is already balanced. Chlorine, there's two. No chlorine here. Oxygen, there's no chlorine. Uh, sorry, this sulfur dioxide, there's no chlorine. Here we have two chlorine. Okay, so two and two. Hey, sorry, here one. Uh. Okay. Uh, then we have no H here, but we have H here. There's a total of two. Only H here total of one so the ones that are not balanced now you can see very clearly is chlorine and hydrogen and you, if you look at these two elements is hcl right so here two two i need to change these two numbers to two so to change to two i have to add a coefficient of two so now you can match everything is balanced already right so this is a more systematic way to do okay there's also a quicker way where you don't do this table out at all and you just look through element by element sulfur balance oxygen two here two balance go to the next one chlorine is two but here is only one so you add a two here first okay and then Hydrogen is 2 and it balances. So as you look through all the elements from left to right, okay, you can also do like what I did just now, all the checklist. Sulfur, oxygen, chlorine, hydrogen. So you look through one by one, sulfur, take. As you go along, cut, oxygen, take. Chlorine, balance, you take. Hydrogen, balance, you take. After that, no more. At the end, check through once again to confirm that the elements uh, are all balanced on both sides okay so question 1d h2o2 this is hydrogen peroxide h2o oxygen okay so i do the quick way okay there's only two elements here so checklist nitrogen and oxygen two okay two on this side only there's nothing here total balance now oxygen is two here oxygen here is three okay so i got a shortcut way just now right make it half two here one i can add one i made this one to make this one i can make it half okay just check again two total two oxygen one oxygen here half times two give you one so total one plus one give you okay give you one then this oh sorry give you two ah sorry okay then here two so this is a uh, balance now however don't leave your answer in fraction it must be whole number so to change it to whole number everything okay i rewrite because it's messy up there half times two times two times two change this to two two one so i don't need to change write any number for one okay i'll leave this on for a while yeah get another paper for last question last question is very common uh, acid and metal reaction yeah you can pause the video and come back to it okay right now one e zinc hcl zinc chloride and water 
so zinc okay check this in fact this one we do shortcut is faster okay so i just going to just write checklist okay what we have here is zinc hydrogen chlorine you just check one side is enough already for all the elements because for a given uh, formula and uh, unbalanced equation both sides must have the same element there will not be any extra if there's any extra elements on one side and not on the other you have to alert us during a test or exam because it is not possible to balance it at all okay so zinc balance okay for now i check here first hydrogen not balanced right so i need to put a number here to make it the same number as here which is two so here i put two so two h and two h balance when i did this i changed the number of chlorine okay so i check two chlorine on this side two chlorine so it's balanced okay i miss out one element okay so oxygen so you see this is what i meant by this is a something is wrong with this there's no oxygen here right so this is wrong okay can you please change this to h2 because why when you learn in lower secondary right your acid reaction plus metals okay in this case okay acid is this as acid yeah yeah, right the other way this is metal it always gives you a salt this is a salt name and the hydrogen gas not oxygen as in not water so in your hand up please change this to hydrogen okay just when i say that the elements must be on both sides okay i now then realize that this is a wrong formula that is given okay so change this because error in the question now hydrogen is already balanced there's no oxygen okay so it's balanced okay let's look through again okay since just now i just corrected an error zinc balance okay i checked this side already yeah two hydrogen okay no number means it's two so it's balanced two chlorine two chlorine balance okay so you just need to put a two here to balance this entire equation okay so this is all the part one answers okay in the uh this will be shared on uh slrs okay for you to write the document i mean from the document if you miss out the video okay uh you can watch any part again for any parts that you don't understand for part one which is the balancing equation okay i will put a separate video for converting word equations like this this is a general one uh, okay so let's say a word equation zinc plus hydrochloric acid okay sorry for the untidiness zinc chloride and hydrogen gas how are you going to write from work equation and know what is the formula for substance that are non-ionic okay you learn for ionic writing e formulas but you don't uh, learn about covalence that much it's given as a list and there are some common substance you are not sure of the formula okay please ch check through the sls lesson that i have assigned you previously i've given you a list there if you didn't copy down i recommend you to copy down okay and converting this okay this is a ionic equation so we can do a quick way to find out the formula okay before you balance okay also we have six symbols okay so next video when i go through i will tell you how you find out the state symbols for this case right you haven't learned this in uh this are salt you haven't learned this in set four it's covered under set four to know what is the solub solubility if it's soluble in water then it's aq okay in lower set you learn acid is soluble in water so it is aq 
Okay, but all these covalent substances refer to the list for all the state symbols. Now, state symbols need to be written at the side. Okay, I have written it here, which is not a very clear way because I have just didn't put in enough space just now. State symbols need to be placed at the side. Okay, without subscript, same size as your atoms. Okay, that means small small letters. So all these will be important later on when you when we have lesson on ionic equations. Okay, how are we going to change this chemical equation to ionic? So this is what we call chemical equation. And this is what we say this is a word equation. This is not a word equation because it's not specific enough to which metal, which acid, which salt and hydrogen. So we can call this a general word equation. Okay. So all this. Alright. So my next video will focus more on changing uh, the substance. Okay. For all these word equation into chemical equation. And uh, you... And watch the next video.